Hey there, cool kids. I hope you're doing well. My apologies ahead of time for my uh, shaky camera work and the fact that this entire video is uh, shot in portrait. I'm literally just taking a giant selfie right now. But uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm sure you, you're used to uh, seeing us in the wood shop and running wood through the jointer and planer and table saw and, you know, drilling holes through stuff. But uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, you're going to join me for a virtual urban nature walk. Uh, we're going to go look at some trees, uh, touch some leaves, and uh, try to identify what those trees are based on uh, what we can physically observe. One of the uh, words of warning here is I'm definitely no expert in tree ident identification. What we're going to do is we're going to hopefully find an interesting tree. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the characteristics of it. And then we'll uh, just go home and uh, do some research to figure out what that tree is. And so right behind me is an interesting looking tree. Let's come closer and take a look at it. And so as we uh, look and identify this tree, as you can see, the needles grow individually on the branch. And the needles seem to be attached to the branch itself. And the branch kind of looks scaly and rough. And we have another clue that might help us identify this tree a little bit better. It's apparently a tree that drops pine cones. And perhaps another clue is to look at the tree bark itself. Apparently it's a kind of tree that leaks sap. So over here we have another interesting looking tree. So we have needles, but this time they are much longer. And as you can see in the middle, there's a little cone or a little thing that's budding out of it. Uh, and perhaps one of the most interesting features besides the fact that the needles are really, really long is that here let me just see if i can get closer so if you look over there they seem to grow in like pairs they come out of one stalk and then two needles pop out of that one stalk interesting that'll probably be another useful clue when we're looking at what type of tree this is and if we look over here I think that there's a pine cone that's beginning to grow out of this tree. A really important tip when you're identifying trees is uh, to keep your eyes open for all sorts of clues. I'll give you an example about uh, the powers of observation here. This tree at first glance, the uh, not very many clues to give, but every so often you get lucky and your tree is labeled. We'll just take a break from uh, looking at trees to uh, take a look at uh, plants. So let's see if we can try to identify this plant over here. Uh, it's got thick green stalk, but perhaps its most interesting features are the fact that it produces red berries like this one, and the leaves, they have a bit of a barb on the end of them. And uh, let's finish off by uh, looking at uh, this uh, hedge looking tree right behind me over here. So uh, let's take a closer look. I'll be honest, uh, what drew me to this hedge looking tree thing is the fact that there's these little cones that are growing on the end of these leaves. And uh, the other interesting thing to note is that the leaves look a little bit different. As you can sort of see, I'll zoom in here. They're kind of scaly uh, and they don't look like needles. Well, folks, thanks for joining me as we walk around and identify trees. Uh, I wish you all the best and happy researching. Until next time.
hello there. You found a little Easter egg in my video. As your reward, I'll show you this uh, little shrub that's been growing at the front of my place. So let's take a look. To the regular passerby, this looks just like a boring old prickly plant. And well, while it is prickly, it's not a boring plant because it's a little bit cold. And so maybe it hasn't grown anything yet. Oh, we're lucky. 